Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Great to have you with us for our weekend weather update and the outlook for next week. And we're officially into December, the start of summer on the meteorological calendar. And uh, we're actually really not seeing a big change in our weather pattern in New Zealand, other than the fact that our severe weather is about to taper off. While over in Australia, they're dealing with a huge storm that is coming on in. Severe thunderstorms, flood alerts, all sorts of issues expected across the southern and eastern side of Australia, uh, not just over the next couple of days, but possibly again in a few days' time as sinking low air pressure continues to affect them. But over on this side of the Tasman Sea, our big high, just like a week ago and the week before that, it is still with us. And those big downpours that we've been getting each day, they are about to finish now as well for the most part. So we've still got them around on Friday, not quite as many as we saw on Thursday, which was a pretty busy day. And as we go in towards Saturday and Sunday itself, they should all fall apart for the most part anyway. There might be a, a couple that linger. So this is your Saturday setup. So there are still a couple around on Saturday. They're not as widespread around the North Island, but Waikato, inland Northland, and perhaps some parts around Central Plateau. Those are the three main risk areas. Every other part of the country is dry or mostly dry. There might just be a bit of drizzle down around Fiordland and those winds a little bit a little bit stronger from the west. That's why you're not getting those daytime downpours. And by Sunday, Look at that. All the downpours have pretty much gone. There might be a w one remaining around Northland and potentially another one around uh, Central Plateau. We'll, we'll probably see some cloud build up still, but it might not go to that next level where you get all the big thunder and rain. It looks like it is drying out and the same story goes for the South Island while this low comes out of Australia. So next week, once we get to Monday, uh, that low is already weakening as it runs into this block of high pressure. Now I'm being asked by a lot of people about this high. What is, is it climate change related? So my answer is actually a bit of a yes and a no. I think that the uh, big dry we've got at the moment is mostly caused by the fact that we're just stuck under high pressure. It's a localized weather pattern, just like Australia is stuck under rain. We've got a weak La Nina, apparently, just like last year, and our weather pattern is completely different, which is why I don't focus too much on weak La Ninas. We did ask Niwa about this, but Niwa refused to reply to us for commercial reasons. Um, we've now spoken to the minister about that. It's kind of weird, although I guess it's a reflection on we must be doing well. <laughs> so this is how it looks for Tuesday of next week. Oh, the other part of it, sorry, I didn't mention the temperature side of it. Uh, yeah, I think that is climate change. So I think the dry is caused by high pressure. I think the temperatures are being caused by the fact that we're seeing globally the temperatures really lift up. And in parts of the South Island, the run of temperatures eight degrees above average continues right through next week. So we'll be talking about three weeks maybe of temperatures several degrees above average. So I think we'll be seeing some records breaking and uh, hopefully we'll hear more information about that soon. Here on Tuesday though, look at that, dry around the country and here's the next system coming out of Australia. And we end on Wednesday where they've still got all the rain and we've stopped, still got you know, a lot of high pressure. There might be a little bit of sinking low pressure though, maybe in the middle of next week, a couple of showers maybe returning. Uh, it's still looking pretty dry though, till about the maybe the 10th of December. There could be a bit of rain around the country then. So it is not all doom and gloom, but we're certainly stuck under these high pressure systems. This is what happens in New Zealand. We're a small country and one uh, you know, weather pattern can really, really affect how much rain and dryness we get over a very short amount of time. So hopefully in December, we'll get a bit of an uptick in the rain, but then I'll get the complaints from all the city people. So I'm gonna try and find the right balance. That is all from me. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll update you again on Monday.